In Costa Rica, there are snakes that will opportunistically catch and eat a bat. But the liar snake is known for its fondness of bat meat. This snake reaches 1.8 meters in length, and while terrestrial, it is an adept climber. Besides bats, it eats lizards and birds. This individual is hunting roosting bats in an old building. Both the lyre snake and this gray sacked wing bat are found mostly in the northwest part of Costa Rica. The sacked wing bats have their own family, the Imbolaniridae. They are small and delicate with short tails. Gray sacked wing bats can be common in the dry forest of Guanacaste, but also can be found as far south as Capos. A small colony is found in some shallow caves just south of Malpais in a protected area. Sea caves are important roosts for many species of bats and should not be entered routinely in order to not disturb the bat colony. A wasp nest at the cave entrance is a good way to deter predators or too many gawkers. This is a mixed colony of gray sacked wing bats and the lesser dog-like bat. To distinguish them, the gray sacked wing bat is gray and the lesser dog-like bat is a more reddish color. Roost size varies but can reach 200 individuals. Notice the spacing between the bats, which is referred to as one bat width apart. Here the reddish lesser dog face bat is distinguished from the gray sacked wing bat. Studies have shown that these bats defend their feeding territories, but it's also been shown they move in large groups from one feeding area to another. Fino has decided to show you the wing sacks and just how gray they really are. It takes great skill to catch a bat without hurting it. There he is. I'm sweaty. <laughs> the wing sacks are full of all sorts of bodily fluids and are used as scent marking organs. With sacked wing bats, it's not only about how you sound and how you look, but how gross you smell. 